Don't you worry. I'm not upside down anymore, but let's quit stretch up. Oh, stretch it up. Ooh. Stretch to the side and the other side. Perfect. It's time to do a crack. Oh, I'm sorry. It keeps unfocusing on me, but it's time to do a crack in your number six folder or nearby. We're going to do a gumball crack. It goes with kind of our hundredth day that we celebrated yesterday. So you'll see your gumball. It's not in a baggie, it's paper clipped together. It's a red piece of paper, white piece of paper, and a tiny yellow piece of paper. Please find that for me. You will also need a few more things to be successful. A pair of scissors, a glue stick, and I'm gonna use my box of crayons because you're gonna need a lot of colors. And I don't have a lot of color markers, but if you're lucky and you have a lot of color markers, feel free to use your marker. There we go. So here are your materials. One, two, three, four. If you don't have all of them right now, then I want you to pause the video and come back. Okay, so if you don't have them all, pause the video and come back if you have them all. Perfect. You're gonna pull your paper clip off, put it up here and you can save it. I'm gonna set my yellow and my red piece to the side. Now, these are your gumballs, okay? Our job is to color the gumball based on what's in the 10 foot, okay? So let's look at what the 10 foot, so pick a color first, any color. So my color is gonna be red. Let me zoom in a little bit. And we're gonna start at one. So one, it's a one in the ones place and there's actually a hidden zero that you don't see before all of these numbers. Look at that, hidden zero, hidden zero. And then we go to a 10 and you can finally see the 10 place. So all of these, so one through nine has a zero in the 10th place. I want you to color all of those the same color. Now, I might be going a little fast. So again, if I have a color way faster than you, you can hit pause and come back, okay? So feel free to hit pause if I'm going faster. Also, feel free to count. So I'm at six. Seven, eight, nine, and I'm gonna stop at nine, okay? Because then it changes. So I want you to pick a new color crayon. Again, if you're not done, just hit pause. Pick a new colored crayon. And now this color, I'm using orange. This, actually, I'm gonna use the red orange. This time, I'm gonna do all the gumballs that have a one in the tens place. So if you see it right here, there's a one and then a zero. So one in the tens place, zero in the ones place. Same with 11. There's a one group of 10 and then one one. One group of 10, two one. One 10, three one. One 10, four one. One 10, five one. Okay, so let's get calling those. So one 10, zero one. You can even do this in the say 10 way. So one 10 and one one makes 11. One 10 and two ones make 12. One 10 and three ones make 13. One 10 and four ones make 14. One group of 10 and five ones makes 15. One group of 10 and six ones make 16. Okay, keep going. 17, 18, 19. Stop, step on the brake. Oh, did I scare your first graders? I hope not. Okay, we gotta step on the brake because look at after 19, it becomes a 20. So is there a one? Do we, does 20 have one group of 10? Or does it have more? Yeah, it has more. Now the number 20 has two groups of 10. So you need to switch your colors. So 20 is two groups of 10 and zero ones. Two groups of 10 and one one makes 21. Two groups of 10 and two ones make 22. Feel free to keep saying them in your head. Two tens, three ones make 23. Two tens, four ones make 24. 
three, ten, five, one, six, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine. Twenty-nine after twenty-nine is thirty. Thirty. I see a three in the ten spot. That means I no longer have two groups of ten, and I need to change color. So thirty has three groups of ten. So I'm gonna color it in a new color. I'm going yellow. So three groups of ten. One one makes thirty-one. Three groups of ten and two ones make thirty-two. And keep on going. Be careful for this transition. Scoot on over, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. What's 39 and say 10? 39 is three tenths and nine ones. And then eek, stop. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. Now, 39 goes to 40. It's no longer a three in the 10 spot. It is the number Four, so please switch to a new color. So four tenths and one one makes 41. Four tenths and two ones make 42. Four tenths and three ones make 43. Okay, keep on going. Feel free to keep saying it in the say 10 way. So tell me how many are in the tenth place and how many are in the ones place. Uh, if your hand is getting colored, feel free to squeeze it up. Keep on counting. 49, so four tenths and nine ones. Eek, stop, 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 stop. Oh, we're on to a new number. 50. So 50, it's no longer a four in the 10 spot. It is now all what number? Five. You got it. Five tenths and one one. Five tenths and two ones. Five groups of ten and three ones. Five groups of ten and four ones. Keep going. We're halfway there. My hand is getting sore, first graders. Is your hand getting tired? Hopefully not. Oh, I might have to squeeze it a little bit. Okay, be careful on that transition. It goes over here. 40, or 59, so that is five groups of 10 and four nines. And then we're gonna stop again because I noticed the number 60 changes. So let me grab a new color. I'm gonna do blue, where's my blue fan? There's indigo, I want blue, perfect. So I went from 59 to 60, I see a six. So that means I have six groups of 10s and zero ones. So everything, that has six in the 10 spot, color the same. Six groups of 10, one, one. Six groups of 10, two, one. Six groups of 10, three, one. Six groups of 10, four, one, make 64. Six groups of 10, five, one, make 65. 66, 67, 68, 69. Pick a new color. I am now, I went from 69 to 70. So I have a new group of 10. I have seven groups of 10. And zero, one, seven groups of 10, one, one. Seven groups of 10, two, one. 11 groups of 10, three ones make 73. Seven groups of 10 and four ones make 74. Seven groups of 10 and five ones make 75. Seven groups of 10 and six ones make 76. Seven groups of 10 and seven ones make 75. Whew. 78, 79. We are so close, first graders. Eek, stop. Nope, 79, 80. How many groups of 10 are in the number 80? Yeah, eight. Okay, transition over to my purple. So eight groups of 10 and zero ones make 80. Eight groups of 10 and one one makes 81. Eight groups of 10 and two ones make 82. 
8 groups of 10 and 3 make 83. 8 groups of 10 and 4 ones make 84. 8 groups of 10 and 5 ones, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89. Stop! New number. 90. Okay, so we went from 8 groups to 9 groups of 10. 9 groups of 10, 1 cube. 9 groups of 10, 2 ones make 92. 9 groups of 10, 3 makes 3 ones, or makes 92. 9 groups of 10, and 4 ones, 94. 95, 96, 97, 98. 9 groups of 10, 9 ones. Eek! Stop! Now, you have 10. There's 10 groups of 10 to make 100. Now, if you did not finish counting your 100 yet, that's okay. Hit that pause button. If you did, put those crayons away. You are all done with your crayons. Our job now is to cut out the big circle. Oh, it's so nice to give my hand another job instead of coloring. It was getting so tired. Oh, is your hand tired? Mine is. Okay, so make sure the scrap goes in the garbage. You also now have a new shape. Does anyone know what shape that is? So two parallel lines. These are the parallel lines, meaning they'll never touch. And then two diagonal lines that will end up touching. Do you know what this is called? Yeah, it is called a trapezoid. Can everyone say trapezoid with me? Trapezoid. There's your trapezoid and one last to cut out. If you want, you can trim the yellow a little bit. Now, guess what? You get to choose what side you want it to be on. So this side already says 100, um, 100 gumballs for 100 set. If you would like to use your yellow, you can flip it over and you can glue it on like that. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna use the yellow. So to make sure I don't waste glue, I flip my yellow over and then I'm gonna go around the edge and put an X, okay? You don't need a crazy amount of glue, just go around the edge and put an X and stick it in the middle. Now I wanna make sure my numbers are up. So my one's all the way at the top. I'm gonna flip it over and just put a little bit of glue, almost like you're giving your gumball a smile and connect your smile so it's a half circle. And line it up and push it down. Hold them down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look it. You have your hundredth day little gumball. Or maybe yours is on this side. Hang it up. I love the rainbow colors. Decorate your room. Have a great rest of your day, first graders. I'll see you another.